Isn't it funny that we sometimes find it easier to have sex than to actually talk about sex? I mean, talking about sex feels really vulnerable because you're sharing with your spouse what your experience is like making love with them. And by the way, it can also be a very intimate move to be honest and open about your preferences, like what you like and don't like and what your dreams and hopes are. But if you never talk about sex or the kind of sex you're having, it's going to be hard to build a great sexual relationship because you kind of need to talk about it in order to get better at building a great sexual relationship together. The truth is we pick up a lot of the anxiety around talking about sex from the homes you grew up in. So if you had a home where your parents weren't really that open about sexual topics or when they did talk about it, you just felt they had a lot of anxiety about it, you tend to inherit that going into your relationship also. Early in our marriage, my wife and I had a really hard time talking about sex. In fact, I think we blushed every time we even said the word sex out loud or other words with a sexual theme. So we use euphemisms like intimacy instead. And for the uninitiated, intimacy and sex are very different things, but more on that later. It can be especially difficult to talk about sex if certain sexual topics or themes are triggering to you. I hope to offer for you today a few tips to make talking about sex a little easier and better. My first tip is to be respectful and get curious. When your spouse, spouse opens up about their sexuality, we need to treat their feelings and thoughts with tenderness and utmost respect. Because they're expressing their thoughts, feelings, wishes, and experiences, some of these things are really raw and vulnerable coming from their heart. Uh, it's really important to kind of listen and take those things with great tenderness. Now, it doesn't mean you have to adopt them or agree with them or act on all of them right away. In fact, it can just be courageous just to let your spouse talk. And it'd be very a very loving act just to give them some safe space for them to express their sexuality. If you feel uncomfortable about something they bring up, try hard to get curious instead of being defensive or judgmental. I think curiosity is the opposite of judgmental in this instance. Try to find out what it is that they're saying, what's important to them, what is it about what they're bringing up is important appeals to them. Find out. My second tip is to pay attention to the meanings you attach to sex. There's sex as in the physical act of sex, which is always neutral, by the way. Like the idea of that is neutral. And then there's sex as in what we interpret that act to mean to us. For instance, intercourse is, you know, two bodies joining together like intercourse does. But there's also intercourse and in like what that behavior means and represents to you. It's like the meaning we attach to the behavior. That's what we really need to get at. So find out from your spouse, why does this particular sexual behavior mean? Or what does it mean to you? Or what does it mean to me? What does it represent for both of us? Does it remind you of someone? Does it feel disconnecting in some way? Or is it something else such as, does it bring up fears about I have about our marriage or our relationship? Or what is it about that act that really appeals to you? Anyway, by paying, by paying attention to your thoughts or the meanings we attach to sex, we will be better able to uh, make good decisions and better judgments about uh, sex without being judgmental. My third tip is to try conversation starters or like a yes, no, maybe list. Some couples need a little help to get started talking about sex. The Intimately Us app has a section full of conversation starters to give you ideas on what to talk about. There's also the Sexploration List part of the app, which gives you a list of ideas where you can mark yes, no, or maybe on over a hundred of intimacy and sexual themes. The app will show you how you answered so you can both compare notes. Anyway, learning to talk about sex is a skill that gets easier the more you practice. Learning to be open, vulnerable, and be listening without judgment is a stepping stone to developing a great sex life. What other ideas and suggestions do you have about talking about sex? What helped you and your spouse talk more openly about your relationship? Let us know in the comments below.